and I'm staying here till she comes back to me. One way or another, she'll come back. Now maybe you didn't hear me last time. When I asked you, sweet, put your damn guns down! You think I won't kill you? I'm gonna take this here crossbow and put a nice sharp arrow right through your eyeball. And into your goddamn brain. You're not men. You're monsters. All men are monsters. Take what they want and then destroy it all. Take a can of beans. Take oh. a little girl. It's all the fucking same to you. Oh, Where not. did you get this hat? The little girl. You stole it from her. So what if I did? You stole her from me. What? What the hell are you talking about? You know what? I changed my mind. I'm putting this arrow right through your balls. Yeah, right through. String them up on that tree. Then I'm gonna head down to that farm and shoot every goddamn person I see. Look, there's two of us and one of you. No matter what happens, one of us is gonna kill you. That's pretty they much the case here. Kill me. They couldn't kill me. They tried. Killing everywhere. Take all the dead folks you want. We'll make more. Go on. Tell him, boy. Tell him what you got in mind. Oh. Oh. Well, one of us was gonna do it. God damn it! Well, thanks. I guess. Well, you're welcome. I guess. <sighs> it's a clean shot, though. Right through the forehead. That's good shooting right there. Still, what a waste. So, that's it. We going back? If they ain't here, I don't know where they are. And it ain't a good idea to go tromping through the woods looking for them. So yeah, we head back. Once they see this, they'll get the message. But she said that she weren't part of that group. Crossbow. Come on. Well, you picked up some loot. Hope it's relevant to your class. I was trying to pump her for information. Why does she have Clementine's hat? Oh, she must be just crazy. Because they took her little girl away, so she's like... Man, that was a hell of a ride, huh? Jesus, Danny. What? You ain't getting soft on Maria. Not after what they did to your friend. You're back. What happened? Handled it, Mama. It's getting dark, though. This isn't what Terry would have wanted. Terry? My husband. Miss him every day. Then screw it up for everybody, then. Why don't you? Oh, calm down, Princess. I'll do it myself. on with them? Don't know. Squabbling looks like. A lot of tension with y'all, huh? Yeah. Uh, don't mind them. It's how they are. Each of them wants to be in charge, you know? <laughs> it's probably just the hunger talking. We all get a little testy. We'll fix that. Shit. Really? People fucking shoot each other. Only, testy. Don't worry your head about them bandits. I'm sorry you've seen more violence than I'd have thought in your short time, but you all are safe here. Don't worry. I think I'll go have a look around. Don't wander too far. Dinner will be ready before you know it. Mm. And thank your friend Koch again for me. She and the kids are in the barn with the cow. That woman is a lifesaver. The barn? I did want to have a look in the barn. Hey. Well, I suppose I can go give her the hat. Let me talk to this guy. Hello, man. Hello. Hello. Glad I got to use her today. My girl here. How do you run this place with just one cow? Yeah. Used to have more. They get hungry too. Or sick. Got your doctor friend here now, though. 
You guys must trade for a lot of fuel to keep the generators running, right? People get hungry, and a few loaves of bread fetch a high price. Y'all are luckier on this side of the deal now. Hey, yeah, you really like that gun. I like that gun. What's not to like? Not much, I guess. Exactly. You guys are pretty out in the sticks here. Hard to find. You get many visitors? Not anymore. Bandits, of course. Used to get these school kids on tours back before the dead time. I'm gonna go wait for supper then. It'll be a good one. I hope so. I'm fucking ravenous. Kindly, you can do it. You can make it to this barn. I'm not sure where you put Clementine's hat. I don't think down your trousers is appropriate. That's kind of wrong. She doesn't want to smell your asshole. Damn, it's dark in there. Hey! <laughs> it's okay, Clementine. You can pet her. Well done, Kadra. You came second in the cow competition. Katja says Mabel could have her baby tonight. Oh, she's up the dust. We'll see, Clementine. Salt lick. There's a salt lick in it. Daddy said it's called a soap. Yeah, I was right. Yeah, but don't lick it. It's gross. <laughs> Did you lick it? I don't know. <laughs> oh, you're cute. She looks skinny. Well, she probably hasn't been fed a lot. How do you like that cow, Clint? She's pretty. Aw, cows are pretty. You're quite right. Here, Clementine. Got your hat. My hat! You found it! Got your nose! I knew you'd find it. You said you would. That's right, baby. Listen, did you... Did I'm you to the daddy here. Did you see any strangers around the motorhead who might have taken it? No. Why? It's probably nothing. Just let me know if you ever see anything like that. Okay, I will. Aww. Hey, do you think you'll ever have kids? I've got one. Her name is Clementine. I'll like you someday. Like someday. Maybe a little girl like you. That's nice. You'd be a good daddy. Well, Aww. thanks for finding my hat. You're welcome, Clem. Do you want to pet the cow with me? Nah, but you go on ahead. Ah, hey, duck. Have I missed anything? No, not really. Hmm, it smells funny in here. Like manure. What's manure? Duty. <laughs> <laughs> Kids. At least she didn't say shit. Hey there, Andy. Yeah. How's the cow, man? How's the cow? Your brother's a well, creepy fuck. Better now we got Doc on the case. Oh, I don't think that's wise to talk about it here. Um, when do you think, uh, we might eat? Hungry, huh? <laughs> don't worry. Mama's cooking up some good grub. Y yeah, we're not gonna Thanks. talk about that yet. Yep. Alright. What's in stall number two? So, the, yeah, they had a lot more cows here. Oh, bless ya. Now she's all on her own. She's a widow. St. John's Dairy. Okay, well, those are the boxes we saw in the. in that little camp. Oh, what the? Clothes. Looks like a bunch of old dirty clothes. Ooh, 
Smells pretty foul. Eh, uh, what? Oh, there's blood. There's blood, there's blood. Did they, have they been eating the cows, maybe? It's a feeding trough. That's exactly what it is. A wool bar of dirty clothes. Blood here. Let's have a look in the blood room. Oh, it's locked. You found it too, huh? Lee, they're hiding something behind this door. I got a quick look. They got boxes of stuff and something metal and sharp. Don't get paranoid. Mm. It's my job to be paranoid, Lee. I got my whole family on this farm right now. How about you? What about Clem? Yeah, I'll protect her no matter what. Protect her no matter what. I know you will. Look, that guy with Kachina, what's his name? He locked it up real tight the second we came in. I definitely heard a noise back there, Lee. What? My point is, we gotta know for sure. So go find a hammer or something, and I'll have this thing off in a second. You back me up in case them farmers come running. Hang on, man. Think this through. You smash the lock. Then what if it turns out you're wrong? You just fucked your chance to get a good meal in those kids you're trying to protect. Use your head, Kenny. All right, Professor. What'd you have in mind? Let me have a look at what we're dealing with first. Yep. Mm-hmm. Seems like a standard lock. Hey, Lee, you know how to pick a lock, right? No. Why would you say <laughs> that? Well, you're, you know, urban? Oh, you are not saying <laughs> Jesus, man, I'm from Florida. Crazy shit just comes out of my mouth sometimes. <laughs> hmm. I, actually, I do know how to open it. Instead of breaking the padlock, we can just take off the assembly, have a peek inside, and then replace it all again like nothing ever happened. All right. Sounds like you got a plan. I'll hang around and keep an eye on that guy with the cow. Andy. Shit, I, th I thought that was Danny. Whatever. No, Danny's the widow. I help find something. Kenny thought he heard a noise. He's a little jumpy, huh? Well, we're all sure glad his wife is here. She's a lifesaver. You, you got no idea. Hey, uh, do me a favor. Don't fuck around with this door, okay? Just, you know, mama gets nervous. Andrew, I need your help again. No problem. Right away, Doc. Yeah. Well, I haven't got anything to undo it anyway. <laughs> so, how does a woman like yourself run this whole place? Oh, I manage just fine. Plus, I have my boys to help out. I couldn't do it without them. Oh, Larry. You've been here for, like, Christ knows how long, and already you're trying to move in. <sighs> well, I need a screwdriver. What happened to the arrow that I had? Hey, girl. What's going on, Lee? Did something happen? There may be something going on with that barn. I'm telling you, Lee. The longer we stay here, the more trouble we're getting ourselves into. And what exactly do you think I'm supposed to do about it? Yeah. If you want to go in there and start rooting through other people's shit? Then get to it. But if it's up to me, we should just take our food and go. What were you and Kenny arguing about when I came back from the camp? Hmm. He's losing it, Lee. He comes over and starts talking about searching the barn and that these people are hiding something. The way I see it, we just need to skip the dinner and get our food to go. But I'm starting to think your friend over there has another agenda. Well, what about your fucking father? 